And the cards in all red, head to toe, will kick it away. Brock Travelstead drives it. And the Deacons will return it back beyond the 20. Keyshawn Williams, there's another change in the return game. Force can be one of the fastest teams in the ACC. Here's Skinner. I say Skinner, it's Sam Hartman, and he'll throw complete to Ja'Cory Roberson. He is a very capable, very good back as well. Here is Beal Smith. Kind of waiting there on first down, and Abdullah, 22, will shove him back. They'll measure it to the 41. College football in their tempo, it looks like. Yeah, absolutely can. Hartman, third down. Far side throw and a catch. Staff yesterday, they said, we teach the offensive line to stay on those double teams. Hartman, another throw. This one out of bounds. That's in addition to Cole Bentley, their starting center, being out in Camden, George as well. Yep. Here's Cunningham on third and 17, and a keeper for the quarterback. And Cunningham will push it out to the 26-yard line. The playmaker. So here's the ball being snapped. The punter gets up with it. And moving with it is Harwell, and he'll be tackled back behind the 25-yard line. The Deacons collapse around the football after the bad snap. The snap is low. And Hartwell not able to handle it, has no choice but to tuck it and try and get it himself. A nice play by Wake Forest on the defensive side, being aware. Can you believe the first few plays for Louisville, though? You get a lateral that puts you way behind the chains. You eventually get decent field position. Okay, so the Deacons have the ball at the Louisville 25-yard line. Hartman on first down. Zips it to Roberson. And he'll pick up seven, almost eight yards on the play. Been pretty steady. They're first in the ACC and eighth in the country in red zone. Here's Hartman for the end zone, and it is caught. Touchdown. Morin hauls it in. A great throw and a better catch on the back end for the touchdown. Or at least knocking it down, and Morin just picks it right off his head. Third down and six. For the, deep, or for the cards against this Wake Forest front that brings a fifth guy through. Cunningham will be sacked, and there's Fox again. Pretty pronounced effort by Miles Fox, Roddy. Spin center, Austin Collins. Watch right in the middle of your screen. Collins is going to slide out on Fox, just not able to handle it. Collins starting at center because Cole Bees, Cole Bent in these situations for Wake Forest. Now the question is going to get off the field. Hartman. Straight drop with time and throws it away over the top of Morin. He's a 221-pound redshirt freshman running back who's shown some ability in this outside zone scheme. He's got a bright future. Here is Cunningham. Quick throw to the near side. Des Fitzpatrick, another catch. And finally brought to the ground. Just Sear Taylor, the corner, hanging on for dear life out there. Rowe runs right by him. And, and just like Louisville, Wake's done a good job with the run game on first down. Here's Fitzpatrick, and he got trapped that time by Taylor in the backfield. Hassan Hall in the backfield for Cunningham, third and a full ten for the Cards. And Cunningham looking for Braden Smith. No flag on the play. The Louisville bench not happy with the no call. For Wake Forest, fourth and ten after the first down. The drive stalls near midfield. Here's the Harwell punt. And it will be fielded. And the Deacons will start right around the 10-yard line on Morin's. One of the most underrated players and quarterbacks in the ACC. Here is Hartman on third and six. And underneath, Beal Smith tried to make the first guy miss. And, boy, Louisville did a nice job. C.J. Avery got Christian Beal Smith right around the legs and was able to stop him at the 20. Receivers, of most of the running back production gone, most of the offensive line production gone. So I put Sam Hartman... Yeah, up in the top half of the league for sure in terms of quarterbacks in the ACC. Rod, Rajay Burns, a fair catch at the 42 for more on this apparently very hot topic involving Wake Forest football. Uh, second and 10, not much there. As you see, Wake Forest rally to the ball. Now you get an opportunity to see Matt James go through the whole thing as a receiver. I mean, uh, Sam Hartman's had a better career at Wake than both of them. Cunningham's going to be sacked. Wake gets into the backfield. 
Jaquez Williams, fifth year senior. It's right to Malik Cunningham here. He gets one on one against Hassan Hall and just wins in that pass pro. Jaquez Williams. And determining not just the four, but also the rest of the New Year's six as well as we get a look at Justice Ellison here on second and seven. And Ellison powers across the 30 for a first down before Rajay Burns makes the tackle. Able to get into some of their tempo and really stress this Louisville defense. Low snap for Hartman. Trying to get away. Ball popped loose and recovered by Ellison, I believe. Diving for it at the 34. When you turn the ball over this few times in a season, you need a little bit of luck on your side. You see Peterson coming from the bottom, is able to knock the ball out. And the, the football is shaped like a lemon, Wes, which means you never know which way it's going to bounce. Some years, all of those bounces go away from you. Drop eight and make it really tough for Sam Hartman to find anyone to go to. Hartman from dead in the pocket and almost intercepted. That was Monty Montgomery. Getting him involved in the run game, maybe not here, but down the line is going to be of the utmost importance. Going to cut it loose on third down, and it is offline. Des Fitzpatrick, closest guy there. The miscommunications that created the procedure penalties, that's the stuff that Scott Satterfield's going to be the most frustrated with. Harwell's punt toward Morin at the 45 of Wake Forest. Deacons will have pretty good field position. And here is Beal Smith bouncing outside and Christian Beal Smith taking two, three red shirts to the first down at the Louisville 45 yard line. Yasir Abdullah. <laughs> Not happy after the game. <laughs> Third down and eight. Hartman deep and overthrows Perry. He contributed and we've got a completely different game this year. And no defensive coach was happy again. And speaking of Hall, Hassan Hall with one of the best plays of the day so far for the Cardinal offense on first down, Roddy. This year saves a touchdown. You get an inside zone here. Hassan Hall gets through a big hole. and Best play of the day for the Cardinals. And here's Cunningham on the keeper. Trying to find a seam. Steps through a couple and will reach the 45. Play your game. Trust your instincts. Do what it is that you do best. And we saw them on the sideline give each other a little bit of encouragement as well as others on the offensive line. Because of the absences on that offensive line. Here's Cunningham. Trying to slide it upfield. Fitzpatrick to catch. First down and more. Down the far sideline goes Des Fitzpatrick. And now Louisville's got a little offensive momentum built at the Wake 29. Davis, the tackle after a 27-yard throw. And this time the offensive line does a nice job of sorting out a twist, gives Malik Cunningham some time. And Des Fitzpatrick, one of the best receivers in the ACC, has been the past couple. He's a guy that just continues to make plays. So let's see what Louisville can do in a 7-0 ball game. Cunningham looking for the end zone and caught. Fitzpatrick. First and goal around the one. Well, watch the route. Fitzpatrick's going to go inside, try and get in between these safeties, and then up the field. And Malik Cunningham actually hangs this one up a little bit. As you said, may have gotten caught in the wind, but seven's going to go up and get the ball when it's in the air to get the ball around number seven. First and goal, and Cunningham kept it. No gain on the play. And watch where he goes because the ball's going there. You see they go two tights to the left here. Cunningham going to pitch this. It's a foot race to the corner, and Hall will win for the Louisville touchdown. Well, he makes it look like, looks like it's going to be zone read. Hassan Hall just takes out, takes off on the sweep play. Card defense has played okay here today right now. No, I would say the card defense has played well. They've, they've only given up the one touchdown, and that was on a very short field. Here's Roberson keeping his feet on first down, driving it to the 48 before Avery makes the tackle. From 13th last year to 5th in the conference this year, yards per play, they go from 13th to 8th. I mean, it's been incredible for Brian Brown in this Louisville defense, the improvement that they've seen in the season that hasn't gone Louisville's way. What's the credit for his defensive effort and he took me to a conversation that he had with his players after a Georgia Tech game this year and he said uh, he just asked him what was going on what are you guys doing this Louisville defense scrambling with the substitutions don't take advantage of it yeah Deeks three for eight on third down Hartman straight back 
Cuts it loose and overshoots Perry again. Kick away and good. Wake Forest goes back in front. And, and ultimately, wins are going to be the thing that propels Scott Satterfield back into the good graces. First down play, and here goes Mitchell breaking free. Jalen Mitchell in a foot race with Kalen Carson to get to the end zone, and he makes it to the five. Talked about what they're missing on the interior, but the inside zone, they just they wash the entire right side of the line down, opens up a massive hole, and Jalen Mitchell, you got to get the piano off your back once you cross the 20 and finish that run. We'll ask you after this uh, first down play. Out of the Louisville timeout. Here's Cunningham. The card's in front. Tight end to the right side, creating an unbalanced formation. Run back to the nub side with the tight end, with the, your, your H back and your running back. So Sam Hartman's got Justice Ellison with him now. Ellison taken down in the backfield. That's Rajay Burns. Another big play, the senior from Trinity High School in Louisville. Rajay Burns is going to come off the right side. He's unblocked and just tackles Ellison in the backfield. It's really felt like Brian Brown, the defensive coordinator from Louisville, has had a really... Came into the ballgame, had six carries against Syracuse for 16 yards, five for 27 against the Campbell Camels. And there's a throw, Roberson a catch. That'll be another first down just ahead of three minutes to go. And clock rolling here, late second quarter. Big third down for the Deacons. Hartman had it broken and intercepted. Monty Montgomery, who then laterals the ball. Russ Yeast in the open field, tackled at around the 37-yard line of Wake Forest. First interception of the year for Hartman. With, what's go with what happened on that play, the throw's just a little high for Roberson, who's not able to bring it in. It bounces around. And Monty Montgomery comes up with it. We talked a little bit about the fact that when you have those streaks of no turnovers, you have to have some luck. The ball has been in danger now. This is the third time for Wake Forest. And finally, this Louisville defense, which hasn't been great at creating turnovers. Only their 11th turnover this season that they've created. Their 11th. And in Wake territory at the 37th. And not a lot there on first down for Hall. So Louisville went to the inside zone. That's where they've had the most success here today as well. Cunningham looping it down the field and caught Braden Smith. You can see if he gets his feet in. This one's going to be close. Secured. Oh, Ooh. I think that. Even with the uh, limited number of folks in attendance, should still be a really, really physical football game. Out of the timeout, here's Hall again. And wait, did Hall get in? He did. I thought he got smashed at the line of scrimmage, and Hassan Hall was able to bound into the end zone. What a difference the first and second quarters make for Louisville. There's nothing there to say that he was on the ground prior to Buck. So what is, what is Wake Forest going to go with here? Do they try and dry out those timeouts, or they go ahead and throw the ball? No, they're going to throw it, it looks like. Hartman now flushed here to the left. Trying to get something going and overshoots Moran, incomplete. So three and out go the Deeks with 37 seconds left. And you continue to try and score, but other than that, you're just going to be happy to take him to the locker room. Jalen Mitchell trying to get the run game going and big Miles Fox. Pistol set here for Louisville on second and short. Cunningham going to keep first down and more, and it's going to be Jaquez Williams that rides him out of bounds over in front of the Deacon bench after a good run. We usually see that outside zone play as the staple of this Louisville offense, but the inside zone and the triple option look off of it looks more the part, looks more comfortable running this zone scheme. Yep. And here is Mitchell again trying to find a seam on the left side. He'll have enough for the first down. Ja'Cory Johns. Wrapped him up for Wake Forest. They got to Louisville around 9 o'clock last night. Didn't get to the hotel until 10.30. This is a, a Wake Forest team that's dealt with an incredible amount of adversity. And there is Mitchell pushing the first down stick on the tackle by Smenda. Stepped out of bounds at the 22. Here's a big third down play. Cunningham going to flip it to Ford again. Ford made a man miss in the backfield. That was Carson, the corner who had come up. 
And eventually Anderson makes the tackle, but not before Marshawn Ford gets the first down yardage. That's Smith in the orbit pattern. And here's Cunningham on the keep, and he'll slash down near the five-yard line. And the inside stuff has been what's been open, and how about this drive for Louisville to start the second half? Almost seven minutes off the clock. Wide open for the touchdown is Sherman. A 12-play drive is capped with a throw to Francis Sherman, the tight end. This is a, a complete team drive. I and mean, Malik Cunningham certainly made some plays, Marshawn Ford, and then the easy touchdown. I, I do want to give a shout-out to some of the seniors that didn't walk, though, Wes. Wake Forest is going fast, so we'll do it after this. And here's a throw near side, and the Deacons with A.T. Perry. That's his first catch. Second down and eight for Hartman and the Deacons. There's Hartman, fake the handoff, now going to throw, and Roberson with a great catch, can't keep his feet, falls down inside the 15 at the 14 against Rush Yeast, and that is some kind of catch by Ja'Cory Roberson. Just watch this. I mean, he gets one-on-one. -on -one. Sam Hartman appearance. does a nice job Defense number three. of being able to Penalty's scramble decline. and throws his ball into the wind. Russ East is down. all over that left hand. He's able to snag it with the right. And, Wes, I'm not telling you how to produce your show, but get this on WRU, too. This one's got to be on there, too. <laughs> News and information from the ACC, along with special guests, including just some really good ones on Fridays. you got a broadcaster and a non-broadcaster every day from 7 to 10 on ACC <laughs> Network in the ESPN app. <laughs> Look at how they're struggling with the net. And the kicking net is a mess. Here's Skiba for the kick, and he does a great job. Kind of held course through the college football campaign. It's been, a, it's been a different walk for all of us in many, many ways. Here's Mitchell breaking free. Another long run for Jalen Mitchell. Kaysen to beat, can't do it again. He's tackled inside the 20 around the 18-yard line, but... It's another inside zone play. I mean, they just wash down the right side and right up the middle goes Jalen Mitchell. He's exploded a couple of times. Wake Forest having this incredibly enlightening about Scott Satterfield. I mean, they've played each other a number of times. And he said, look, I, I think the Louisville team has a great scheme. I think Scott Satterfield has a great scheme. But it's not so rigid that it doesn't take advantage of what his guys do best. Under two to go in the third. They got it snapped. Cunningham. Quick throw, Des Fitzpatrick trying to get some blocking help. And the Deacons do a good job. Kobe Davis has had a nice day out of the secondary for Wake Forest. See what kind of wedge game James Turner's got here. And the kick is faked. And the Cards get it inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And the play is with the tight end Sherman again. Been a tough ride for Sam Hartman after the opening 15 minutes. Now a throw on third down, and that's caught. The tight end, Blake Whitehart. And, and they're going to have to do more of this on third down. They were one of their last nine on third down before that one, and Louisville is dropping so many people. You're going to have to take advantage of those little, mis those little that uh, gaps. That ball got deflected to Whitehart again. <laughs> Looked like he was the beneficiary of a deflection. And indeed he was. Fourth is next. Yep. Third and five. And here's Ellison. And Justice Ellison got to be held up. They got A.T. Perry bottom of the screen. There's Roberson in motion here for Hartman. Fourth down and two. Wake will throw. And it's caught. This is Roberson. First down and more. He'll cut at the 10. And Ja'Cory Roberson scores. Touchdown, Wake Forest on a fourth and short play. Louisville just loses complete track of Jaquari Roberson. He's able to be wide open on the sideline, makes a safety miss, and now Wake Forest is going to go for two, which is the smart move here. Louisville brings an extra guy. Hartman tries to get away, throws the ball up in the air, and it's incomplete. Hartman was going down in the clutches of Yasir Abdullah to try and draw the Deeks now within a touchdown. Hartman, quick throw, and caught. Roberson for the two points. If I'm Louisville, I'm thinking about maybe a quarterback draw, something to get Malik Cunningham in space. Yep. Third down and eight. Cunningham. 
Back across the middle, catch is made, and Braden Smith holds on. Louisville 5 of 11 on third down today. They were 15 of their last 28 coming into the afternoon. Cunningham hit as he throws. Long throw for Fitzpatrick, and a flag will be thrown. Ball was thrown so far out of bounds that Wake Forest didn't even need it. Yep. So first and 10 for the cards. Here's Cunningham. And he'll find a seam left side again. And make Malik Cunningham make a play with his legs. Hassan Hall is coming to the ball game in the backfield. Cunningham slips it across the middle. This is Braden Smith on third and ten. The tackle made by Kobe Davis. Uh, on a day like that, but try and shorten the game. They're going to flip it on the reverse, coming here to the near side. And down the sideline, and a touchdown for Jordan Watkins. How crazy is this play? It's, it's just a little reverse. You fake the zone inside. You get a nice block out front. Look at Marshawn Ford leading out front. Nice block on the perimeter. Watkins into the end zone. And, and this Wake Forest defense had its opportunities. You had Louisville in a third. See the ball at the 25. The Deacons can ill afford any points here. And they shut the door on Hassan Hall. He's 12 of 14 on the year. And that one is good. Yeah, and they've been they've been good in the run game with Kyron Williams. Avery Davis has made some plays for him. Yep. It's just been a, a really nice coaching job by Brian Kelly of, of making a good team creation has had. So it, yep. it's going to be really interesting to see how many schools take advantage and how many players do. Third down and ten. Well played by Louisville on a ball for Keyshawn Williams is slim but you're going to have to convert here if you're going to have it at all fourth down and 10 hartman cuts it loose and dropped roberson was there you saw jenkins in coverage as well whether or not louisville season is over after this one everybody obviously is bowl eligible so they could get a bowl invite whether and there's or not the a season's throw over. and a catch and a touchdown for marshawn ford He's in the backfield, just runs a wheel route. They do it a couple times a game. Nobody takes him for Wake Forest. An easy pitch and catch to get in the end zone. And Malik Cunningham looks to be okay after that uh, little hamstring scare earlier, but has not run. He's been able to deliver the football, though. Wins and also just being dedicated to this program. But yep. he's obviously got the support of his players. They played very hard for him here today. And, and, it, and it's great to see these seniors go off on their home field with a win. Coming to Louisville, led early, but a second quarter explosion by Malik Cunningham and some, a turnover, uh, a turnaround in the turnover game, Roddy. I, I think though the defense is the story. Obviously the turnover was big, but the defense holding in early in that game until the Louisville offense figured it out with that young offensive line, the success in the run game.